Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to day 12 for the holiday card series for 2022. I'm going to be using this stamp set from Penny Black, or I should just say stamp. It's one single stamp and it has this really pretty kind of woodland scene on it. And I thought it'd be fun to do almost like a no line watercoloring type of idea with this, where I will stamp the image in a lighter ink, in this case it's tumbled glass, onto some watercolor paper, and then I'm gonna paint right over the top. So I'm using some Fabriano Artistico extra white watercolor paper, and I'm actually going to end up stamping this image twice because the first time I stamped it, it was very, very pale. It was a little bit hard to see where all the different areas and shapes were. So I inked up my stamp a second time and then stamped down right onto that watercolor paper. So this watercolor paper is five by seven. Um, I'll eventually put this on an A2 card and I can tell that when they designed this stamp, it was sized for an A2 card. So just so you're aware, now as I paint it with my Magello Mission Gold watercolors, I will be painting past the edges of the stamp itself. So if you wanted to, you could adapt this image for a larger card size. I'm starting out with the background um, sky area and I'm gonna go right over those trees. Um, I'm gonna be painting over the top of the, the sky area, so I'm not too worried about the trees right now. And as far as the trees in the foreground, those tall ones where you can see the trunks, um, I figured I would take some white gouache and paint over those later. So um, I decided to just go ahead and paint the background. So I started with this purple shade and kind of faded it out a little bit. And then I brought in a pale yellow and brought that down from the top and let them meet in the center. And then I came over those areas and added some little streaks of color. Sort of looks like long clouds in the sky. It looks like a very wintry day. I, I love days like this when there's large banks of snow and a very, very pale sky. I came in with like a kind of like a grayish blue, very, very faint color, and painted in those lines on the snow and also the area beneath the tree. And then I mixed up a very brownish gray color and I started painting uh, the trees. Now I switched to a size two round brush for this. I was using a larger brush before and I wanted a very small dainty brush so that I could paint all of the little branches coming off of the trees. I thought um, I would need that detail and I definitely did. So as I painted each one of these branches, um, I sort of in the back of my mind knew, okay, I'm gonna paint over this later with some of that white gouache. So I don't necessarily have to keep those white areas, but I did wanna keep some of them. So I painted kind of each side of the tree and then added some more of where all that shading was. So I'm gonna speed ahead a little bit here and skip over some of this tree and just show how I finished up the painting of the trees right here. I added the shadow coming along the bottom and I got my brush wet and just pulled that color out so that I'd have a little variation in color. And then I started painting the trees in the background. Now, the way I painted these trees are very reminiscent of the day 10 holiday card series card. Um, just kind of getting that trunk shape in there roughly and then branching out and doing little, little sections for each of the different boughs on the tree. And I brought those trees out um, almost to, to each edge. Then mixed up some white gouache and painted the white over the trunks on the tree. And I did it this way because I wanted to make sure that there was white on the trunks, but I also wanted the uh, background sky to go right across that whole area. You could use a little bit of masking fluid for this if you wanted to, but uh, I thought just coming in with a little bit of white gouache worked out really well. I also softened the area of the snow banks off to the right. Then came back with more of that brown shade and added a few more details onto the trees just to make sure everything was finished up. So 
almost done with all of the painting. I'll, I'll add something here at the end here, but I'm going to uh, move on and work on the rest of the card. I'm using the Christmas Blessings stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I thought this greeting would go well with this very tranquil scene. And I'm going to stamp my greeting in a black ink. I think you could also use a silver embossing powder and that would be really, really pretty, but I just kept things simple with a black ink. I used a VersaFine Onyx Black and I ended up stamping the greeting twice just so I would have a really solid black line on all of that greeting. All right, so I've finished all of my stamping. I'm gonna remove this from my Misty and I'm going to trim it down to an A2 card size. So I grabbed my A2 layers dies from Waffle Flower and I just picked up the, the largest die and I positioned that over my painting and then ran that through my die cutting machine. I love using a die for that because then I can get it centered just the way, way I want it. So to adhere my watercolor panel down to my card, I used a little bit of Tombow Extreme Adhesive and then place that down onto my card base. My card base is made out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. So I put that down and then I realized looking at this, it looked like there was that one tree in between those trees and it was just a little too perfectly centered. So I decided to go back in and just paint one more little tree kind of filling that gap and that finished it off for me. So there's the card today for day 12 of the holiday card series. Kind of a little bit of a different one, but I love how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching today. All of the supplies I used today, including the paper, the stamp, the paints, the brushes, everything I've used are listed down below in the video description. So I'll be back in a few days for day 13 of the holiday card series. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys then.